Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich was arrested on federal corruption charges this morning in Chicago. Federal authorities say in part it has to do with the governor's ability to appoint someone to the Senate seat left vacant by President-elect Barack Obama. They say Blagojevich allegedly tried to personally profit by auctioning off the post. This is a sad day for government. It's a very sad day for Illinois government. Governor Blagojevich has taken us to a truly new low. Agents arrested Blagojevich in his home. The FBI used wiretaps to catch him. The wiretaps were in his home and campaign office headquarters. The FBI also arrested Chief of Staff John Harris. Both faced these charges. One count of conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud and one count of solicitation of bribery. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is taking a wait and see approach as to how these charges pan out. This is a sad day for my state of Illinois. Our system of justice gives anyone accused of a crime the right to defend himself in court, and Governor Blagojevich will have that opportunity. But if the allegations, and I read them this morning, in the criminal complaint against Governor Blagojevich are proven true, he has clearly abused the public trust. Durbin wants the Illinois legislature to act quickly to pass a law setting a special election to fill Obama's seat. Now, despite his arrest, Blagojevich can still appoint the next senator. Other Illinois politicians are speaking out against that move. Well, despite